All right. So today, guys, we have our, our Tuesday is our strength day. And um, this is going to be super, super fun. We're going to do some mobility to start with. And then we're going to do our circuit where we um, work for seven minutes. We'll have a series of five exercises that we're doing within that seven minutes. And then we're going to rest for two minutes. And then we're going to work for another seven minutes. So this is our high density workout. And so the, se the second time we do this set, the second seven minutes, um, you can choose on whether or not you want to add a rep to each one. If you have more weight, you can add more weight. Or if you want to try to get an extra set in, you just push yourself a little bit harder to get an extra set in. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, story of the day. There was this um, old miser, and uh, this, this miser was really, really afraid of somebody stealing all of his wealth. So he took all of his gold, and he melted it down into one big brick. And he took that brick and he, of gold, and he buried it out in his backyard. And he would go, and he would visit it every day, and he would just stare at this, this little uh, gold grave that he had, he had made and uh, would, just, would just be so happy that he had this gold that he was you know, keeping from anybody stealing it. Well, one day, his servant saw him out there visiting this hole and uh, decided to unearth it and stole all of his gold. The miser was very, very sad that his, his gold was stolen that he thought he had tried to protect so well. And his best friend came over and he was like, hey, dude, you should just grab like a regular brick, throw it in that hole and bury it and visit that every day because that's about as much good as that gold was doing you because you weren't even using it. And so this is about mindset. This is about fear. This is about um, recognizing our talents and our dreams. And, and so often, I think we either think that we don't have those talents or those dreams. And so we're, we're afraid to actually reach for them or we're just not exactly sure how to reach for those talents and those dreams because it, it might actually be a little on the scary side to, uh, to, um, to go for it, right? And so just use that gold. Don't hide that gold. Don't hide that gold from the world. You know, share that with everybody. Share your talents. Try to, we're always talking about a challenge mindset. Use that challenge mindset as opposed to a fear mindset. And uh, yeah. Don't be a miser with all your good stuff that you should be sharing with the world, yeah? All right, so we're gonna start with our couch stretch as far as our mobility warm up is concerned. So what I wanna do is I wanna put my foot onto a couch or a chair or a coffee table, and then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna try to get my knee to the ground. So if you have a pillow, I would grab a pillow, and then you're gonna take your left arm, if your left leg is down, you're gonna wrap it over your head and you're gonna lean into the opposite side. So we're really trying hard to get this to elongate. And I want you to breathe into it five times. Big breath in, big breath out, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Feeling that really nice stretch in the quad, in the oblique. Okay, a couple more breaths. All right, then we're gonna take it to the other side. So we're gonna stand up. I'm gonna put my foot onto that surface. I'm gonna come down, feel that nice stretch. Take my right arm if my right leg is down, fold it over my head and lean into the opposite direction. So I'm leaning into my left leg right now and I'm breathing for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, guys, we are going to do our tripod with sit out. So I'm in my sit out position. I'm going to kick my leg. I'm going to bring that foot down and I'm going to reach this opposite hip to the ceiling. I'm going to come back down, coming in, bringing my, my knees close to my uh, wrists. I'm going to kick out place my foot down and reach up. Now, for anybody who has a problem doing the sit out position, I'm gonna have you go ahead and do dead bugs. So for the dead bugs, you're laying flat on the ground, both arms and legs are up in the air, and you're gonna reach with opposite arm, opposite leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg, all right? But if you're able to do the tripod sit outs, Let's go ahead and do three more on each side. So we'll do five total, regardless of whether or not you're doing 
the tripod sit out or whether or not you're doing the dead bugs. And exhaling as we reach up, really bringing that outside hip up, coming back down. Now, we're gonna do our yoga windmill. It's been a while since we've been on yoga windmill. I'm gonna come into this deep lunge, this groiner stretch. My hands are right next to my foot. I'm gonna reach forward. I'm gonna reach up. I'm gonna look at my hand as my arm and my shoulder rotate, going all the way to the back wall. I'm gonna bring my elbow in. I'm gonna go into the world's greatest stretch, pulling my elbow to the floor. I'm gonna place my hands next to each other. I'm gonna come back down into that groiner stretch again. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Follow that hand with those eyes. Looking at that back wall. Bringing that elbow in. Taking a nice couple deep breaths here. We don't want to rush this, guys. Let's take our time with this. Going back into that groiner stretch. Inside arm reaches up. Turning your hand out, your shoulder out. Reaching that elbow down. All right, one more on the opposite side. Reaching forward, breathing, breathing, breathing. Trying to get that back leg as straight as possible. Getting that front knee over that foot. Leaning into it and coming up. All right, so as part of our warm up, we're gonna go through each one of the exercises in our circuit so that we get ready for it, we get all of our weights, all the things that we need for this. The first exercise in our circuit is going to be um, our squats. So if you have a weight, fantastic. I was using uh, bleach bottles last week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna widen out my feet, point those toes out, trying hard to get those elbows on the insides of my knees and up. Squeeze those glutes, guys. Pretend like you got a walnut in your butt crack and you're trying to crush it. Not that that's a normal thing that we all do, but maybe it's a good visual? I don't know. All right, we're gonna do 10 of these. I think that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then we're gonna do our T-spine plank. So I'm gonna come down to the ground. I'm on my forearms, my feet are out wide so that I get some good hip stability. And I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna rotate. We're gonna do five on each side, guys. Really try to get as much rotation in as possible with this. This is three, this is four, and this is five. Woo! Starting to feel really warmed up. And then we have our lateral stretch with T-spine reach. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna put my hands on the inside of my foot and I'm gonna rotate out with it. Then I'm gonna step back in. And then I'm going to step out to the side. So with our lateral lunges, we usually do different variations with this. Rotating in, stepping in. This is one of those variations. Coming back up, stepping out, getting that nice, nice rotation, getting that nice stretch in that groin. Coming up, coming down. This is our last one on each side. Rotating and there we go. So next, what we're gonna do is toe touches. So for my toe touches, I'm gonna lay down on the ground. I'm going to have this part of my leg perpendicular to the floor or at a right angle to the floor. This part of my leg is at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna reach up. I'm gonna to try to touch my toes or just get up as far up my leg as I possibly can. All right. Let's do 10 for the warm up. But actually during the circuit, we're just gonna do five of these. 
Take your time. Don't throw yourself. Try to be really controlled with this movement. Let's do two more. And then we're going to finish it out with some more abs. We're going to have our penguin. So my feet are on the ground. My feet are in tight to my butt. I'm going to reach down my, my foot as far as I can. My shoulder blades are slightly raised. And with these, we're going to do five on each side. Four, five. So at the end of the circuit, we're getting a nice little ab burn with that. So go ahead, make sure you have all your weights in place. You have your surface ready to go. I'm gonna make a little bit more room in my living room situation. I'm gonna grab water really fast before we start. We're gonna start here with our squats. And we're going in three, two, one. And we're hitting it. Four, five, six, seven. Again, we are doing this for seven minutes. My T-spine plank, widening out those feet. We're doing five on each side. This is two. This is three. Keep that butt down. Four, five. All right. And then we're going into our lateral lunge with T-spine. Reach, coming back up, stepping out. Rotating, coming back up, stepping out. We're doing five on each side. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. Ooh, this is five. Nice. All right. Then we have our toe touch. Coming down to the floor, bringing those knees up. This part of my leg is perpendicular to the floor, and I'm getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Three, four, five. Nice. Feet on the ground. Going side to side with our penguins. Five on each side. This is four. This is five. Nice. And we're starting again. So that circuit just took us about two minutes to do. Going back into our 10 squats. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Trying to always hit our depth with those squats. Going into our T-spine plank, feet out wide, rotating. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five. All right, going into our lateral lunges, stepping out, rotating, coming back in, stepping out, rotating, coming back in. This is two. Sticking that butt out, guys, to that back wall. It's three. It's four. It's our last one. And that's five. All right, now we have our toe touches. Coming back to the ground. Making sure to keep this part of your legs at about a 45 degree angle. You are not moving your legs at all with this. Your legs are staying stationary. The only thing that's moving is your upper body. Trying to get those shoulder blades off the ground. All right. There's five. Going into our penguins. 
Penguins. Two, three, four, five. Nice. Going back into our squats. We got about three minutes left. It's two, three, four. Make sure you're breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. T spine blink. Oh, T spine blink. Ha ha. <laughs> I was going into my lateral lunge. <laughs> this is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. All right. Awesome. Now we're going into our lateral lunge. Stepping out, rotating. Stepping back in. Stepping out, rotating. Whoo. This is two. This is three. This is four. Thanks for working out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. This is five. Woo! Going into my toe touch. Keeping those legs stationary, reaching up. It's two. That's three, four, five. Really squeezing those abs, getting those feet in tight to the butt, reaching down those feet. It's three, four, five. Nice. Whoo, all right. It's gonna be our last set. Squeezing those glutes at the top, coming down and up. We have about 39 seconds. You got this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. T spine plank. Woo! Feet out wide, rotating. Throwing those elbows, throwing bows. This is three, this is four, this is five, woo, all right, oh, okay, that was the end of our seven minutes, now we have two minutes of rest, so go ahead and grab some water for this next round of seven minutes, you do not have to go at the same pace that I am going, you could go faster, you could go slightly slower, it's up to you. But what I would like you to do is make a decision about how you want to increase your density. So whether or not you want to do six T-spine planks, six lateral lunges, six toe touches, six penguins, um, maybe 12 squats, or if you're going to try to get a whole another set done in place, or if you have more weight, you can increase the weight. We're starting in five, four, three, two, one, and we're going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up my pace a little bit and see if I can get more sets in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right. Picking up my pace. Two, one. This is two. <laughs> this is three. This is four. This is five. Make sure you're breathing. Keep breathing. Going into my lateral lunge with rotation. Lateral lunge. One, two. This is three. This is four. This is five. Listen to your bodies, guys. 
Half the battle is just starting the workout. So listen to what your body's telling you. Doing my toe touches. Three, four, five. All right, penguins. Two, three, four, five. All right, starting again with my squats. Whew. Get in depth. Don't forget how important it is to get that depth. Try to stay upright with your chest. Try not to lean too far forward. Eight, nine, ten. Woo! T spine planks. Yes. Game on, guys. Game on. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. All right. Going into my lateral lunge. Woo! With rotation. I really like these density workouts. I like these kind of build your own adventure workouts where you're listening to your body. Maybe you didn't get such great sleep last night. Maybe you're slowing down a little bit. That is totally okay, because guess what? You're moving now, and that is half the battle. Just getting that blood going, getting that blood pumping, going into our toe touches. Controlled, no throwing. Nice and controlled, guys. Five, penguins, one, Two, really feel those obliques. Crunch as you rotate from side to side. Whew, all right. Going into my squats. What? I know, who'd have thought? Six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Three and a half minutes left. Guys, it's really funny when people walk by the dojo and I'm doing this class. And people are looking in like it's one of those news studios. <laughs> it's four. This is five. Woo! All right. Everybody's favorite, the lateral lunge. Coming back in, coming back out, back in. Woo! Ha! Four. Woo! You got this. This is five. All right, toe touches for dessert. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Peng wings. Two, three, four, five. Yes. Going back into my squats. Two minutes left. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes. T spine plank. Maybe this is your favorite one. You get to choose. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, yes, lateral lunges, stepping out, rotating, stepping back in. Woo, this is two. Here we go, three. This is four.
is five. Nice. Toe touches. We got this, guys. Two, three, four, five. Penguins. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Back into our squats. This is definitely our last set because we have about 20 seconds left. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! And time. You did it. You did it. We're going to grab some water. Can you believe this is the last day of this homework? Because uh, we start April tomorrow. What? So we'll have new homework for you for tomorrow. I've really enjoyed this homework, guys, because I feel like if I don't do my push-ups on a regular basis, I lose them, you know? And uh, I feel like my sit-outs have just gotten faster through all this. I'm a big fan of knee grabs. I just love those knee grabs. Um, I actually haven't been doing the chin-ups, even though we have the chin-up bar. I've been doing the swimmers along with you guys. So pretty much Josh and I have only been doing the workouts that we have been working out with you. So we're on the same exact program, you know? So we're gonna do our homework, which is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. I'll go through it while you're resting. And we're gonna start with our push-ups. So you're either gonna do strict push-ups, making sure to get those shoulders slightly over those wrists, coming all the way down to the floor and back up, or you're doing it from an elevated surface. Just don't cheat. Make sure you get that chest to touch all the way, all right? Then we're gonna do our sit-outs. So for my sit-outs, making sure those knees are hovering off the ground, I'm gonna kick out, my back foot goes flat. All right, come back in, kick out, back foot goes flat. Guys, don't come far away from that, from that wrist. Stay in tight with that butt, all right? I don't want you to put undue stress on that shoulder. Okay, so that's one, Two, that's how we count the sit-outs for homework. And then we have our knee grabs. Legs out straight, arms in tight, coming up, really planting those feet at the top, coming back down, planting those feet, coming back down, yeah? And again, if you have a chin-up bar, go to it, making sure to get your clavicle up to that bar, all right? And then, if you don't, we're gonna be doing our swimmers. So I'm laying on the floor, I'm on my belly, I'm reaching forward, I'm pulling the imaginary water back, really squeezing, squeezing, squeezing those shoulder blades at the top, all right? Pushing those shoelaces into the ground, okay? So I'm gonna hit the timer. We're only gonna have 10 seconds of transition and we're going in three, Two, one. Keeping those elbows in tight or at a 45 degree angle. Guys, make it count. Keep that butt up. Don't lose those abs. Make sure to touch that chest to whatever surface. All right, now we're going into our sit outs. Got five seconds left. Three, Two, one, going for it. Make sure to get that back foot flat on the ground. All right. Rotating. Somebody's on your back, trying to knock them off. Woo, woo. All right, going into my knee grabs. Five seconds. Woo, here we go. Getting those feet flat at the top. Getting those shoulders over those hips at the top. Use those shins, guys. Your shins are your friends. Whew. All right. I just did the rookie maneuver where I 
didn't end on the down. <laughs> now we're going into our swimmers. Woo, here we go. Swimming home, guys, swimming home. You got this. Squeezy, squeezies. Those shoulder blades. Woo. Ha. Going for it. Bringing those hands back to your rib cage. That was it. Oh my goodness. Ha. I really enjoy that circuit. Really feel like it gets the heart a pumping. Um, story of the day, which is don't hide your talents. Don't fear your talents. Don't fear sharing them with the world. Yeah? Get them out there. Get your dreams out there. It's a good time to be thinking about dreams and what we want. And uh, I wanted to give some warrior birthday shout outs. We had a bunch of birthdays this last weekend. We had Bob on Saturday. We had Emily and Jerry on Sunday. We have Courtney today. Just a lot, there's a lot. Anyway, I know that Emily did her birthday squats because she actually posted them on the secret Facebook page. If you haven't seen it, it's a really cute video with Jack and Emily doing the birthday squats and uh, Emily and Jack's dog kind of getting in between them. Not sure what he was trying to do with that, but it was really, really cute. Guys, keep posting those pictures of the sweaty selfies as you do these exercises, as you do these workouts. I really appreciate it. It really, it's, it's really good for me to put that out there in the world on our Facebook page and on our Instagram page, that you guys are you're doing the stuff. You know, even if we can't physically be in the dojo, we'll, we're still together as far as being on the internet are concerned, and we're still getting the work done because we got to come out of this better than we started, right? So. Anyway, it's Coach Bootsy helping you bring out the warrior within. Have a great day. The mic picks up the swallowing, so I've been trying to edit that out because it's really gross. Oh my God, I can't believe how gross that is.